uh, we said that the Vipers are second in both rating and pace. Who's number one? That would be the Reno Bighorns. And last year, Reno averaged 133 points per game. They've toned it down a little bit as well. Jarvis, three to the hoop, no. Walker keeps it alive and finishes off glass. Ooh, he really refused that ball screen. It's kind of a flat ball screen. And he was able to turn the corner and no one in help side for Santa Cruz. Hobson on the face up, J too strong. Warriors, the team, the two teams that they're most likely to see in the finals if they get there. Well, the loss to the Spurs, that was a close game. They had the lead early in the fourth quarter. They just weren't able to seal the deal. While Lele now at 12, Denzel Livingston tied up, but a foul on Daniel Corsi playing in his second game with Santa Cruz. Getting right now. Nice crossover. Oh, tried to jam it down. No foul call. Now, see, if he had made that, that would have been a 10 in my book because it would have been on someone. Looney can hit that shot. Just strong. It was on target. 42% from distance at UCLA. And it's Looney gets it off the craft. Not a surprise that it's Looney who comes away with it. Looney not ready for the pass there for Kraft. Three with the left. Wild shot. Good pass for Williams. Shooter going to his right, and that does not surprise me for a left-handed shooter. I was a right-handed shooter, and it was much easier to get the shot off quicker when you're going to your left and stopping on a dime. Cummings, no, and Walker tips it back in. Walker now with eight. Under a minute to play. Last game that went over Oklahoma City. Now the problem is they don't shoot it well. They're second to last in the league in percentage at just under 71. So their offensive rating is so good. Imagine if they were shooting around 76% as a team. Their offensive rating would be even better. Yes, it would. That is the answer to... Th their offensive rating would be even better. Yes, it would. That is the answer to the question. Williams strong on the three. <laughs> I like to state the obvious from time to time. Denzel Livingston gets the friendly roll. He's having himself a ball game. 15 points, almost done. Michigan State, man, they've lost three in a row. They got to figure it out. They were number one in the country at one point. Jamon Green needs to uh, send a little video message to get his troops inspired. Three missing. Will for three. Thought about it. Five on the shot clock for the Vipers. Deep three from three off the backboard first, but tapped right to Jaron Johnson. Baseline drive, and he's fouled by Hobbs. That was unorthodox for Kraft, just throwing that ball up high. Seven to shoot. Four to play here in the third. Three to crossover. Runner up, good off glass with two tenths of a second. That's the second bucket end of quarter for our a triple attempt. Craft away from the on ball. Jones scoreless in this game. He averages 13 per contest. And his post entry taken away. Three, almost tripped, got it back, missed the layup. Here comes Kraft. Jones drills the triple. Four-point game, Santa Cruz not going anywhere. And the biggest lead for the Vipers tonight is nine, and there they had gotten the most separation. They had a while at seven, but like you said, the Warriors just have an answer seemingly every time. Big block inside, William. He just had too deep a post position for Santa Cruz to do anything about it. 72% in the paint for a reason. Hobson jacks up a three, planks it short. Good challenge by Putney. Definitely was in Hobson's mind when he released it.